Good morning, one and all. I am Udeshri, working as assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering in Saint Peter's Engineering College. In today's class, let us do a stress analysis on a plate with circular hole. And for that, what we'll do is we'll make a rectangular workpiece, and over that we'll make a circular hole. We'll fix the plate at one end, and we'll apply the load from other end, and we'll see the deformation. Now, for that, let us start with preferences. structural h method click okay pre processor element type add edit or delete go to add here go for solid quad 4.182 click okay now go to options and here here you will be having plane with the thickness click okay click close and after that go to real constants add edit or delete go to add click okay now here it will ask you for thickness type as 0.5 click okay and close now go to material properties material models structural linear elastic isotropic now enter uh, the engs modulus as 2 e to the power of 5 and poisson's ratio as 0.3 click okay close it next go to modeling create areas rectangle by two corner x value is 0 y value is 0 width is 100 and height is 50 click okay so you got some rectangle now make a circle and for circle go to solid circle uh, type x value as 50 y value as 25 and radius as 10 click okay so you got some uh, rectangle you got some hole now what you have to do is you have to remove the hole from this rectangle and for that go to boolean operation and boolean operations options will be available in operate go to operate boolean operations subtract areas select the larger area click okay now select the smaller area see whichever one is in pink line that will get deleted so here you want circle to be in pink so select next click okay click okay so it got removed so this is how uh, we will make a hole in the circular plate now go for meshing meshing mesh tools so in areas go to set select this object click okay it will ask for element length type some value 2 3 4 or 5 anything is okay click okay again go to mesh tools uh you can take a quad or tri meshing uh, that's up to you if you want rectangular mesh you can go for tri and if you want a, a square mesh you can go for quad i am going for quad and it is a free meshing so select mesh select the object click okay so you have got all triangular meshes now go to solution solution define loads apply structural displacement on nodes see here uh, select a box so that the area means whatever the area that box is collecting all the points will get uh, fixed so i am selecting this area click okay so here i want to arrest all degrees of freedom so i am clicking on all degrees of freedom and clicking okay so now you have fixed this end now let us apply pressure from this area now it's up to you whether you want to apply pressure like this means in this order or this order it's up to you okay depending on the question okay go to pressure on lines pick a box so i'm going to apply load here click okay type 1 click okay so i am applying pressure in this area now let us see let us solve it solve current ls click okay 
if you get some uh, some note as solution is done then whatever you have done is means right and now uh, if there is any error while you are performing this uh, analysis in such case it will give you the error report so uh, by uh, by re reading the note means the error report you will understand where you have made the mistake okay close it close this also plot results counter plot nodal solution Yeah. Here in general post processor, go to general post processor. Here we will be having plot results, plot results, counter plot, nodal solution. Here you select the one, uh, go to stress, select the one my stress. Click OK. So this is the result. So, uh, whatever the maximum and minimum values you got here, maximum stress values, minimum stress values uh, and also uh, values are represented here and wherever you have maximum stress, it will be represented with red color and wherever you have minimum stress, that will be represented with blue color. So, this is how uh, you will get the results. So, you can see the values here. This is the minimum stress and this is the maximum stress that you are getting and same values will be displayed here. Okay. And now, uh, plot controls, animate, deformed shape, deformed plus undeformed, click OK. So, you can see uh, how it is getting deformed before deform how it is looking and after getting deformed what how it is looking so you can see both the things deform shape and undeformed shape okay so this is how we'll perform a stress analysis on a plate with circular hole that's all for today thank you